Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to watch it as continually as you can. If you slip off a little bit, just bring yourself right back. The breath is always there. It's very forgiving. The problem is with the mind. The mind is very unstable, very unreliable. It's our own mind. And as the Buddha said, you have to be your own refuge. Atta yata no nato. And if your mind is un not under your control, what kind of refuge are you going to have? You have to train it. You have to work with it. And remind yourself, there is such a thing as good meditation and bad meditation. Sometimes you hear that all meditation is good. Well, it's good if you learn lessons. And it's best if you learn how to learn your lessons well. Some, some of the lessons are going to be, I tried this and it didn't work. The better ones are the ones who say, I tried this and it did work. Remember that. Try to keep that in mind. That's what mindfulness is for. If we didn't have mindfulness, we didn't have this ability to remember things. We'd learn lessons and then forget them. They wouldn't serve any purpose. This is why the Buddha also said, when you want to make yourself your own refuge, you have to develop mindfulness. The ability to keep things in mind, and particularly to keep the right things in mind. You try to be alert to what's going on, and then you try to remember. When something like this comes up, is it skillful or not? You learn try to rem try to learn how to remember what greed looks like when it first comes, what anger looks like when it first comes, so you're not deceived by it. If you let yourself get deceived, it's like seeing little squirrely things on your front porch, and you think, oh, they're, they're worms, they're okay. But it turns out they're baby snakes, and they come in and invade your house and wreak all kind of havoc. So it look, something looks dangerous from the very beginning, and you can recognize it as dangerous from the very beginning. Then you're a lot safer, because sometimes they don't look dangerous in the beginning, but if you learn how to recognize them, then you're safe. So you have to learn how to get to know your mind. We know so many other things in the world. This is what education is for, is learning about things outside. Very little about learning things inside. But it turns out the big problems are coming from inside. As the Buddha said, the cause of suffering is not the economy out there, it's not other people, it's not the pandemic. The cause of suffering is your own clinging and your own craving. For that you have to look inside. And so when you learn how to become a mindful observer, and then a mindful meditator, you don't just observe, you notice if something unskillful is coming up, you try to get rid of it. If something good comes up, you're mindful to continue with it. If it doesn't come up yet, you give rise to it, once it's there, you're mindful to maintain it. That's when your mindfulness really does become something you can depend on. So make yourself your own refuge by making mindfulness your refuge. Learn to remember the right things, apply them at the right time. So you can master this issue of the mind that wants happiness but keeps on creating suffering. You'll learn how to turn the fact that it can observe itself to your advantage. <laughs>